Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with a stock swoosh. I just wanted to go over what were some of the best options for this week. They actually were the market trades. So I called many options this week. One, it was earnings season, biggest week of the year, and two, the momentum was there. I had the calls. Um, every trade that I called this week was a put. We didn't go long at all this week, whatsoever at all. Not in the room and not in the options newsletter. I had, I had the... I had it. I, I read this like an expert person, which is exactly what I am. I'm, I'm very good at seeing where something's going to go in the future or predicting it by reading the gap. Um, and again, it's based on technical analysis. And that's what I teach in the Golden Gap course. So uh, we did a lot of trades this week that worked, a lot of options too. But looking back, really, the best trades this week, the best options this week were the market trades. And they were so reasonably priced. So not only, people always say, oh, you know, they want to do the Amazons and the Googles and the Teslas. Listen, these market trades this week had such big moves. The cost of them was so cheap. And one of the reasons was we were in them before the move happened. We were in them early. We, we I had perfect timing on them. I predicted this way before it happened. We sold off all week. You could have, this is so unusual, but it, this was his case this week. You could have been in the trades I called last week in the market until the very last day of expiration, which was today. That's insane. <laughs> Actually, you would have had the best price if you had held them the very last day. And I've had this conversation when we talk about managing trades so many times. Everyone always wants to get out at the high of an options chain, high meaning the high of the price of it, whether it's a call or a put. And the same thing with, with day trades, when we're doing equity trades, everyone always wants to get out the low of the day and a short and the high of the day and, 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 a, and, a, and a long. While that may be true that sometimes we do, sometimes we actually do get the best eggs that we could ever get, which is the high of the options chain whatever we happen to be in. Again, this week we're in puts. It's, it's really, that shouldn't be your goal. I said this over and over and over and over again. It should not be your goal. Your goal is to make money. Your goal is to get the trade right. I do that because I read the directional bias correctly and I also am able to predict the timing to have, to get it, to do it before the momentum and the volume and the massive move comes in, which is of course the profitability and that's how you make money in options. So. You know, this was just so, I mean, th these were the best, the, the market trades were the best trades I called this week. And for anybody that says that they need X, Y, Z amount of money, I mean, some of the trades this week were just so cheap. I mean, they were just so cheap. I mean, because the bias actually, looking back at the price of them and then how they blew up, really was not to the downside. I saw it that way, I was right, but really, you know, I was, I was alone in seeing it and I ended up being right. We close with a bounce today. Who knows what happens next week? I told everybody with the election on Tuesday, just gotta be very careful Monday and Tuesday. And I'm not sure if we're doing anything Monday or Tuesday, to be honest with you. I might wait till Wednesday to see what happens. And then of course we have the situation with, are we gonna know on Wednesday? Are we gonna know Tuesday? Are we gonna know next week at all? So we bounced into the close and you had the shorts exiting, people that shorted this week and also you had people buying in the 200 pair moving average here in the diamonds. So that's this push up here tonight. But the best options this week, looking back at all the ones we did, really was the market. And it was because I read it so well. And the irony is I saw this, I, I mean, I just, I didn't plan to say it. I was on a, what show was I on? I was on Cheddar. I didn't even plan to say it on Cheddar. I just spit it out because I knew it in my brain and I said we were going to see a spooky, a scary sell-off between now and the election. I mean, this was it. This whole week started on Monday, and we just a scary sell-off was literally all week, and it just was a great read. So, the focus that I've had this year, the number of trades we've done, um, which can requires focus as well, and particularly when I'm doing multiple things, which again I'm doing with the market where I. I need the market to get them or I'm doing trades in a 
group, I call them in a, in a, in a segment, I'm doing multiple trades with the market like we did this week and, and they all worked. And that's, that's the best case scenario. I think a lot of people can't read the market. And I think it's one of the reasons it makes for difficult trading for people unless they can find selective things. I look for selective things at A trade every day, but in reference to doing options, I do think you really need the market with you to make money in options. And so that's one thing I'm really good at reading. And, and even though I don't get it right all the time, I get it right a lot. And sometimes I make impossible calls like I did in this and, and uh, I've done many times this year. So when you are really right on, on options, man, you can make a lot of money. You can really make banks. So we did other stocks, I'll go over them in some videos if I feel like it over the weekend. But you know, the best trades this week were the options for return on investment, somewhere over 300%, over 200% return investment. And that isn't even getting out today. That's getting out before today. I mean, they, some of them probably were four or 500% return investment if you stayed in them today. Again, I don't, I, you know, I think people have to decide where they're happy with the profit, but you know, to hold something in at the last day and, and be up the most, I mean, it's crazy, but that was the case here because the momentum was on our side and we had some gorgeous follow through in this market and the follow through was selling. So we will be watching closely next week. And I have no idea where we open Monday or even what's on tap, but expect volatility Monday, expect volatility Tuesday. In fact, I'd expect volatility every day next week. I won't know what we're gonna get until I see it, which I see it in the gap. And if you wanna learn how I do all of this, then you take my class, the Golden Gap course. If you just wanna get the options calls, you can sign up for the Gap Options newsletter. It's an annual subscription only, and uh, it's $69.99 a year, and it is well worth it, well worth it. So have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com.